Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and what might be very well another very stupid idea uh, come up with and thus perpetuated on the internet by yours truly, Borderwise. So those of you who are watching who have good memories might remember that I did a video some time ago talking about self-contained laser turrets, which is, uh, by my own definition, a basically a laser where the whole laser system is on a turret the uh, the multi-purpose laser itself all the pumps all the cavities the frequency doublers etc etc it's all arranged in a turret much like a cannon like a advanced cannon or cram cannon and like there's a little transmitter up the, to the top to a two-axis turret and like the la it's a laser but it's built like uh, an APS or a cram so and it has some advantages and then a whole bunch of disadvantages. But anyway, I've taken that idea and extended it to missiles. So, what we have here is a missile turret. It's got two large missiles uh, on rail launchers. I actually quite like this turret. I like how it looks. Uh, is it a good idea? Probably not. Because uh, usually on this test fortress it's stuffed full of ammo uh, and it's gone. I've removed all of it. Uh, basically to showcase uh, this kind of dumb idea, which is self-contained missile turrets. You probably guessed this was coming because of the title of the video and the thumbnail, etc, etc. I suck at creating surprises. So, the whole idea is, is that uh, if you are a lazy person, like myself, um, rather than trying to figure out ahead of time how much ammo you need, you do exactly that anyway, you figure out how much ammo you actually need, and then you put it on a turret, and you put the missile system that's going to be using that uh, ammo on the turret as well. So basically what you've done is... Oh, hello, there's actually... There's something in here. I've left a gap in here. Oh, no. That's stupid. Alright, let's just save that right there. Uh, so anyway, this is a turret which is um, reasonably chain reaction proof, actually. So it's basically... the It's about as explosive as... Uh, a high explosive APS turret, which uh, isn't actually saying that much because there's ways using ejectors and just, um, yeah, ejectors and emergency defuses and stuff like that to make your APS way less explodey. This is pretty explodey, but all the ammunition that these two missiles up top here need is in the turret. There's no other ammo on this craft, uh, which means that you can just slap this around willy nilly and you're assured this, in fact, has slightly more ammunition than it needs. Uh, you are absolutely assured that you have enough ammo to keep these missiles firing. So it's good for, uh, like, basically being lazy. Basically, you know what? I've got a missile. Uh, worked out ahead of time how much I need. I can just slap that turret down. Uh, you could accomplish perhaps this exact same thing just by, you know, the miracle science of remembering how much uh, ammo a missile needs. Because it literally tells you. So, launch of material per second is 7.16. Uh, you can do math, but I suck at math, so I have to actually walk through things in order to remember things. So anyway, this turret, it's, um, it uses uh, about... Uh, it, 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 the, these missiles use about 1,250... No, no, they use about 859 materials per minute. There is 1,250 uh, materials per minute of ammunition in the turret, so this is actually... Great, this is overkill. I could, I could actually remove, let's see here, yeah, I can actually remove almost all of, uh, all of the, well, I can remove that top layer and just stick one in and like, you know, this is the first attempt. And this I quite like, um, this setup here because it's nice and simple. Uh, this uh, one on the left fires first and then the second one fires. And so the one on the left is just a big kinetic missile that uh, thumps things really hard. And then the one on the right is just a bunch of frag and EMP warheads, uh, which uh, doesn't thump, but it does uh, do the funny electricity and pokes holes in things. And so, yeah, I'm just going to flip me. We don't have time to wait around. Let's actually do this. And so uh, this I have deliberately set up to get through the defenses on an Alcazar. And this is just an excuse to blow things up. So the Alcazar actually has quite a strong lambs, and it all goes for that front missile, and then zap. Uh, you know what's a good idea, though, is... Uh, 
God mode. God mode is a good idea. <laughs> I forgot to do that. I'm not on the ball today. So yeah, if that fires again, hopefully we'll see magic happen. So yeah, the Alcazar, by the way, in case you're wondering, is actually a pretty decent uh, craft to test against if you want something that can get through a moderately strong lambs. Uh, because its land has a fair amount of storage, uh, which means that your initial volley uh, has to be quite strong in order to get through it. Honking big kinetic missile, soaks up all the stuff. Then EMP Jolt uh, proceeds to fry uh, all that goodness off. Looks like, yeah, it took off. Wow, it's taken down a bunch of surge protectors, etc, etc. So the great thing about uh, doing this on a turret is that you can just... Uh, no brain, uh, head wi eyes wide, wide grin, head empty, do something like that, and, you know, make sure you've got enough materials for everything. Oh, no. I've messed everything up. And you can just do something like this. It's like, requires minimal brain power just to be like, okay, yep, we've got missiles now. We've got the missiles, darling. I really hope I've remembered to set these to full uh, volley, otherwise, uh, otherwise I'm going to be embarrassed. Embarrassed. It's like uh, regularly embarrassed, but like you know, hymns, like in church. It's a little bit of musical. I'm full of bad jokes today. So yeah, um, so the rest of the video is just going to be taking through a few other uh, designs on this, because like I said, this was the first one, which is why there's more ammo in the neck of this turret than uh, perhaps I need. We thump thump boom. boom 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 beautiful hate the Alcazar love blowing it up okay so uh, we have done that and do 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 I've done that and so now I've made a slightly different one uh, so this is not sure what this is this is definitely not a secondary turret which you could argue the first one was uh, these are. And I'm starting to get back, uh, well, I'm trying to get back into it, laser-guided missiles. In this case, it's a beam rider, uh, which is uh, good for any missile which you don't want to put, um, well, you don't want to put a guidance on the front. So, thump ahead, fins, reinforced missiles, lots of fuel tanks, variable thruster, and these things hurt like hell. So, I'm trying to remember what I was testing this against. I think the stronghold. So, uh, this is slightly more sensible, so... Incidentally, yeah, so this is, yeah, just uh, got that little bit of explosion proofing, not great. And yeah, it has enough ammo in this uh, turret uh, to keep it firing. And basically means that you can guard these uh, turrets in much the same way you'd guard an APS. Uh, fair amount of heavy armor, hither and thither, heavy armor around here. Does make it heavy. Um... Yeah, and there's a very safe neck in here as well, so this is probably the main turret of something. Probably, I'm guessing a fast hydrofoil would do uh, well with this, because these missiles are kind of exposed. And uh, these rail gantries do have a fair amount of health and armor, but not that much. Not if you're chucking this kind of material cost around. So anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's. So let's have a stronghold, because I think these missiles will just tear straight through the lambs on that thing, which is, uh... Hilarious. Yeah, we're shooting Onyx Watch a lot today. That's what we do. Also, beam riders have a rotten habit of uh, missing horribly. Thump. And thump. And thump. And thump. Uh, nope. Okay, you missed. So, this is kind of the problem with uh, beam riders because they have this annoying flicker. Well, laser guided missiles in general, where you see they have this kind of flickering thing, which is why, honestly, remote. Ouch my ears. This is why remote guidance is probably better, because they're less likely to do that. The problem with um, a remote guidance, though, for missiles this big, is that they require a huge amount of uh, general purpose processing power, which is very expensive. It takes up space. So, if you're putting your missiles on a turret anyway, you might as well put laser designated on it. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I would like... Um, I don't know, there needs to be something to make laser guided missiles a little bit more accurate like that. I think the stability thing was kind of an attempt at that. Uh, or you could just, well, you could save it for... You can save it for targets like this because we've already taken like 9% health of a stronghold with two volleys. Uh, which is quite fun. 
actually, I want to see here. Did that do even more? Nope, it just took out uh, the turret uh, completely. Go and do it again. Uh, this one is probably less advisable to just willy nilly snap around everywhere because uh, it's very expensive. Uh, let's see how expensive it is. It costs. Uh, the better part of 500,000 materials. There are entire ships that don't cost as much as that. Um, but I guess you also, I think, a fast hydrofoil, the, the, beam, the beam riders would have a lot of trouble locking on to anything. Hmm, maybe an airship. Something that bounces up and down quite reliably. Does tend to clear off deck space and turrets quite well. Oh boy. Please no, please no freezy freezy lag lag. Okay, well that's enough of that. So I'm not completely sold on this one, even though like it is a nice... It's a nice way to visualize how much ammo you need uh, for, well, five huge missiles. You need a lot. Uh, incidentally, if you want an example of uh, how to do huge thumper missiles, well, look up the uh, look up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spawn it in just because. Uh, look up the where is it? Uh, the Steel Striders Basking Shark because it uses huge uh, remote guidance uh, thumper missiles, and it does them very cleverly. Although it does shoot itself a little bit, which is kind of dumb. It's not actually firing them. Maybe... Alright. Well, well, screw you then. I know what I'm not wanted. So much health. Oops. Well then. That is the problem with Thumpers, is that... Uh, really should have taken out that uh, turret down there. But anyway, like, okay. I think maybe, yeah, I think maybe the local weapon controllers on those huge missiles are kind of strict and they only fire at really big things. Okay, well one, you know, let's, let's have one more volley because that's fun. I'm having fun. In case you didn't realize, this isn't a tutorial, this is me having fun again because, you know, fun is fun. Come on, one more. How are we gonna hit? Also, yeah, you need to babysit uh, beam riders a little bit because they're kind of silly. They're kind of silly, kind of stupid. The fact that they can get through railgun sewers, though, that's nice. That's very nice. Oof. Much block confetti. Very fun. Okay, now we're moving on. Alright, so now here we're really messing around a little bit. We're messing around with... Whoops. We're being silly. In case you haven't noticed already, we're being quite silly. So... Uh, these oversized little turrets, again, it's thumpers, because I want to get the hang of using thumper missiles more often. So here we have, actually, let's, um... Uh... Ah, darn it. Darn it. Alright, hold on. Let's, uh, let's get rid of uh, these guys first. Not sure why I saved uh, this with so many. So, dumb fire missiles. Uh, they've got potential. This is actually quite good, because it, like, these, uh... Dumb fire missiles up here, they require, uh, 240 materials per minute, and two... Uh, uh, two two meter ammo storages, ammo boxes, they give 250, so that's quite nice. A little bit of leftover. Uh, so these are just thumper heads, explosive warheads, fuel tanks, one tons fins, and these are too stupid to fool, although they do miss a fair amount. And since we're shooting at Onyx Watch things, uh, well, we get to see. Let's go here. What's the. Let's shoot at the. Let's shoot at the Argonaut, because that's fun. So these things uh, fire. And they aim, and they miss horribly. Well, that one didn't, and neither did that one. So, I wouldn't say this is a this is a weapon you should use against like the Steel Striders. Uh, this is more of an early game thing because you know, if you're gonna use missiles, you might as well. Okay, okay, okay. This is why dumb fire missiles don't actually get used that often because they're kind of stupid. <sighs> One more volley to prove yourself. Unless those flak shells just, you know, destroy them before we do anything. Oh, no, there we go. We did stuff. Right. So this is one where uh, I think big volleys would do the trick a lot better. So let's do that. Let's try that again for no other reason to show that the 
rather dumb, well, dude, well, I don't know. I guess it's showing off the fact that, like, you can just slap more down and you don't need to expand your ammo compartments. Let's do that again. What was it? What were we shooting at? The Argonaut, I think. Right? Whee! That's more like it. One turns, baby. I don't think that actually blew off anything particularly important, which is the problem with uh, both high explosive and, like, thump damage, is that it, it does surface damage. Also, it misses horribly. Also, it misses for stupid blocks. It goes for stupid blocks. Oh, dear. Should have tested against the Marauder. So, yeah, like... I guess for very small missile systems, auxiliary ones... Mate. There we go. Alright, that's more like it. Commander Fudge? Huh. Alright, so there's that one, which is like, eh, dumb fire missiles. They're kind of short-range weapons. They're like crams. Uh, Alright, so here we have something a little bit perhaps more sensible. Perhaps not. Uh, I think the turret cap might be a bit too big, but this is self-contained interceptors. Um, so this is one tiny little ammo box, uh, which is supporting uh, one uh, tiny little uh, missile SeaWiz system. So these are just uh, regular old SeaWiz see with things and you can duct tape this turret pretty much anywhere you like and i am proud to admit this is a real triumph of human achievement is that it can just about handle uh what a duster throws which is neat yeah so this is perhaps possibly the best way if you're feeling lazy this could be an adventure mode trick actually is like um you could expand the ammo compartment or you could just uh, make a missile turret that carries its own ammo, so you don't even have to think about it. For those of you wondering, yes, I will try adventure mode. Again, at some point, I'm in no rush because it is, uh... It's not my most favorite thing to do, because I think it's dumb. No offense to the people who love it. Uh, all the more power to you. But I, uh... It's not my cup of tea, usually. Although I do drink tea. Alright, so let's try this against... Mm, let's try... What's something that chucks uh, missiles fairly hard? Let's do an iron cord and see if this is enough. It might be enough, but then again, it might not be. So here come the stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> you need a setup. Uh, see was a lot better, otherwise uh, stupid things happen. Although, it, it, actually that did way better than I thought it would. It took out torpedoes as well. So you see, you can imagine, you can just have a line of, a conga line of these things um, just set up. Probably not any good against anything coming to straight from above, but yeah. We. Also, you've got to really... I have really got to tweak that SeaWiz a little bit so it actually prioritizes stuff that's close. Also, interesting thing. Yeah, like, uh, missile interceptors, they will go for, uh, they will go for torpedoes and they can hit them, uh, even if uh, they don't have torpedo propellers, which is great. Alright, and the final thing, uh, is just, uh, Something that has been inspired by uh, the, what do you call it, the Scorn, so annoying little drones uh, by the Twin Guard, which I'll actually, I'll spawn them in and we'll see if we can hit them, we probably can't. Uh, so this bastard, which I did a most wanted of uh, the other day, uh, the missiles on these things actually are surprisingly painful because they're small, uh, but they have a lot of uh, kinetics on them, so they've got a lot of reinforced bodies. Uh, so yeah, that looks like three reinforced bodies and one HE, and then it also has, yeah, the same thing, but with uh, EMP as well. And uh, so those are really annoying, and they hurt, and so I tried to do the same thing. Probably should have double-checked what those missiles are made of, uh, because I kind of failed miserably. So yeah, so uh, we've got this little thing here. I don't think it's going to hit them, although they're doing a great job hitting themselves. Yeah, we're not going to do very well here. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, missiles are, these are the wrong kind of missiles for this job. Yep, nope, not that. Uh, let's spawn in something different. Let's spawn in something... Let's spawn in something easier. Also, still one ammo box. And, um, you will notice that uh, it's uh, actually not quite enough ammo, but the hope is, is that uh, it's close enough so that these things will keep firing long enough uh, for whatever tiny thing they're shooting at to, well, die. And uh, you can always just make up the difference with an extra ammo box somewhere else. So that's nice. Uh, let's shoot at something. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta shoot at the Marauder. We just gotta. So a little short range. Uh, mostly kinetic things. Going bang, bang, bang. I actually think I found that doing this actually helps them be more strong. So whatever 400 times 3 is, 1,200, I can math. It actually does okay against soft targets. Uh, but like a lot of the... Uh, well, I guess, uh, once again, the sole advantage, I guess, is that uh, lazy people can just... Select and spam and ta-da! Well, no, we can't. <laughs> oh dear. We apparently don't have enough, because it adds up, you see. Well, this last turret is actually a tremendous failure, who would have thought? Much Alpha Strike. Although, actually, if nothing else, take away that uh, spamming kinetic missiles is actually a really good way to go. I don't know what this video is. This is an exploration of a concept, which is uh, probably not a very smart concept. And we do manage to get a few volleys off, at the very least. And we can kill a Marauder, which is the superior combat vessel, as we all know. So yeah, that's basically it. That's just a few uh, a few little missile turrets I've made, just exploring the idea of like, hey, what if they, what if you have missiles on a turret and they have their own ammo so you can be a lazy person and just slap them around uh, whenever you like. It's only slightly more explodey than an APS. And uh, yeah. The disadvantages are just that the whole point of missiles is that you don't need to stick them on turrets if they're self-guided, and like, you know, hiding your ammo on the turret itself is might be a dumb idea. But it might be a good idea. There's two main schools of thought with ammunition in From the Depths. One is to have a few very well defended ammo compartments, and then there's the other d idea which is like basically hiding uh, them here, there, and everywhere, so even if one get gets blown up it's not a problem. Both of those can work, but you do need to think ahead in terms of doing that. So, that does it for this kind of weird video where I explore an idea that's uh, perhaps not the smartest, but it is fun. And it's good for my brain, who, uh, which doesn't plan ahead very well. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths, where we'll probably explore other things that uh, might be good, might not be good. I'm actually really interested to see what, uh, what you people watching this will say about this. I can imagine everybody saying everything. That's not very helpful. Farewell!